G'day, today down the shed, going to do a fan upgrade on the TD42. So today's temp outside is 32 degrees. I've been sitting on about 100 kilometres an hour for a little bit now. I've had cooling temps of 96 to about 101-ish. Uh, the factory cooling gauge is reading about halfway, just over halfway. EGTs have sat just over 300. We'll go fit the new fan and see what we get after that. The engine cooling fan I'm upgrading to is a Mitsubishi fan hub and fan from Quickies with an adapter plate. So I'm going to carry out this job by removing the fan shroud, fan and hub assembly, and replacing it. So starting with removing the lower fan shroud section, which basically clips in to the main fan shroud. Then removing the three bolts that hold the lower half of the shroud on, one on each side, one in the middle. Also three in the top, one in the middle, and one on the offside. Then disconnect your bleed line, just out of the way. So I like to remove the fan off the viscous hub. So now I can actually get into that viscous hub with a spanner and my hand fits. But whatever rocks your boat to get it off. So with the old fan hub and assembly off, Time for the new. Bit of difference, eh? So with the adapter plate off the hub, I've just double checked to make sure these bolts are all tight. And what I've done, just as a service thing, just put a white mark on every spot. So that way, when you just do your regular oil change, you can have a gander. Nothing's changed, nothing's moved. All right, let's throw that on. Nice firm fit. Straight over the studs. Put the nuts back on. So what I've done, it's not hard, but just to make it easier on yourself, just get your 10 mil socket, put the nut in the end, feed it in. And we'll tighten that up firm. Time to fit the fan. There we have the fan bolted up. Again, done that in the opposite pattern to pull it on evenly. There's your clearance between a standard two core radiator here and the fan. I'll put the fan shroud in next and we'll have a look. Fan shroud all tightened up. 
a lot of drama. Nice firm blades. We'll go give it a test run. So the temperature outside is still 30 degrees and I've been um, driving at about 100 kilometers an hour in fifth gear for 15 minutes ish now with the camp trailer on the back. The factory temp gauge hasn't gone past the third and I think I've maxed out about 87 on the red arc uh, and EGTs are still sat at around that 300 mark. So I'm pretty happy with that. We'll turn around and head home. Well, I'm happy with those results. They may vary depending on your vehicle setup, but I've dropped roughly 10 degrees, so it's good enough for me. We'll find out the next Kimberley's trip. Um, if this video helps you out at all, if you're looking into doing it, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, any tips we can give others, throw it in the comments. Otherwise, yeah, take it easy.